Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Let me put a little light on the subject. It is starting to get dark. I uh, started making a video a while ago. Well, I did make a video a while ago. It kind of turned into one of them rabbit trails. Started telling you about Rockwall, Texas. Go figure. But one of them useless little tidbits of information that I know and I shared with you. Uh, just got parked up. Been a little bit rough finding parking today, but I kind of made a parking spot here where I'm at. And, uh, started doing a little checking here on my emails and whatnot. And, uh, not my emails, I'm sorry. My Facebook stuff. Hey, online Christian friend of mine, Melissa. She, uh, had a poll, so I wound up scrolling through uh, a little bit of our stuff, which is, I do that periodically. You know, I'll go and look at the uh, one thing that you've got, you know, that brought my attention to you for the day. Then I'll wind up scrolling back a few days and see what you've been up to. On uh, November 15th, she did a post, <laughs> and I read it. I mean, you know, that's why she put it up for us to read. Uh, let me make sure it's open all the way. It is, okay. She, uh, says, now this is all her reading from now. After not hearing from one of my sisters four months, as in F-O-R, not F-O-U-R, so, I ain't, she hadn't heard from her four months. I get this email from her today. I never talked to her about who I supported or didn't support in this recent election. So I guess she just assumed. Anne has been afraid all of her life. So she's a perfect target for the media arrows. It makes me a little sad that this is the only reason she found to contact me. No hello, no nothing, but this is what she emailed. All right, so now we're starting on her sister's deal. Uh, scary. I found the following story on the NPR iPhone app. Hundreds of hateful incidents reported after Trump's victory by Marriott Kennedy. NPR, November 14, 2016. Michigan middle school students chanting, Build a wall at Latino classmates. A woman speaking a foreign language on a San Francisco Bay Area train being called a ugly, mean, evil little pig. A Los Angeles student reportedly being teased that she was going to be deported. And then there's a, a link, you know, and all this to that stuff. So now we're back to my friend Melissa. She says, so this is what I wrote in reply. So good to hear from you. Funny that you chose to send this to me, of all people. But yes, it is sad. Sad that many want to keep the hate alive. When most people don't feel that way and want to get along, a few hundred people act up. Yet millions aren't. Yet the millions are getting no glory or credit at all, are they? The media is excellent at terrorizing us, that's for sure. It's not really as scary when you realize that they aren't, that they are trying to forward their own agenda and divide us farther. That when we actually go out in the world and smile at each other, People aren't what the media is making them out to be. I smile, and people smile back. My neighbors are still my neighbors. The world hasn't changed or ended. I'm pleased to see that most people realize it's nothing but the pushing of a false narrative. Thank God most people are just like you and me, and and just want to be happy and safe, providing for their families. I refuse to let the media paint a picture for me 
that isn't there. Yes, isolated incidents will always happen, but they aren't the norm that the media wants you to think they are. Most people are not evil. I'm not evil, neither are you. So why do we assume everyone else is? All they are trying to do is scare us, terrorize us, so we will be divided and afraid. And I refuse to be or live my life that way because divided we fall and are more easily conquered. I'm not falling for the false ideologies. I can like or dislike someone equally regardless. And it has nothing to do with their principles or their character or lack of them and nothing to do with their gender or skin color or any other superficial conception and to assume others feel differently than you and I is just letting ourselves be swept up into their web of deceit. Always much love, Melissa. Well, Melissa, I like the way you answered it, huh? I really do. Uh, now, y'all know me by now. I got to go into one of my little deals. I have been telling people all through the election uh, and for even before that they've been trying to paint these pictures of all this hate and whatnot and I don't see it out here. I really don't. I agree with Melissa there. The uh, media and the politicians they so badly want us at each other. Well, you know how long have we been told all our lives, uh, the younger generation, I don't know, I can't speak for them, but uh, united we stand, divided we fall. Remember? That's what she was quoting to her. And uh, they want us divided. I don't see it. I'm out here uh, all over the place. And I smile and talk to people, and the majority of them smile and talk back. There's some that are uncomfortable. Uh, the ones that's got the turbans on their heads and stuff. I don't know that they're all Muslims. It ain't all Muslims that wear that. But you can tell that some of them are very uncomfortable. And I don't think it's necessarily that uh, they hate us as if they're afraid of being labeled and hated themselves which we are known to do. I'm known to do it myself. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I, I, I don't see all the hate. I really don't. And if you notice that all the trouble for the last 18 months has all been coming down in the same cities. Cities. It's those city folks that are having the issues and of late, it's not necessarily the city folks of those cities. It's the ones that are hired and brought in to pretend to be those city folks. If you followed that, and I'm sure most of you did. And uh, there, there's an agenda that the powers to be want to keep. And stuff is not working out in their plans right now. Uh, and Trump making president that just threw all kinds of a kink in their plans and depending upon what Trump does this could get quite interesting I mean, we'll see where it goes but uh, yeah sister you're right uh, what the media and all them portray is not the truth that is not what's really happening out here uh, and and I doubt that it's even thousands. It's it's hundreds of people acting up, and the millions are not getting credit for it. Uh, I've said in my other videos, I hated it when Obama got in. I really did. What did I do? I got up the next morning and I went to work like rest of America. Well, when uh, Trump got voted in, what did I do? I got up and I went to work like most of America. 
That's what the most of us did. Yes, I had my whining and crying when Obama got in both times. And uh, I can't throw stones at those that are whining and crying because Trump got in. It's the United States, you know. We have two parties. Well, actually, we got one party, but there's supposed to be two. So, yeah, you know, we it, that's how it's supposed to work. You know? So it is what it is. So, yeah, do your whining and crying about Trump getting in. I totally understand. But the uh, paid protesters and the destruction and, and the hating and the chanting and... The, and and I, I find it very hard to believe that any kids at school was chanting to build a wall at their Mexican classmates. Oh, please, really? Come on. You know, and, and a bunch of that nonsense is made up and or staged, just like these protests are staged. You know, crazy stuff, crazy. Sister, you're on the right track. Don't let the media pull the wool over your eyes you did good and I understand that your sister is somewhat scared I know people exactly like her but uh, hopefully you gave her a little bit of strength there hey God bless remember God loves us I love you too y'all have a great day now thank you sister for sharing your message bye now